Hello, this is Sean with Sean Sales, and today for my first video, we are going to talk about DIY stainless steel sailboat rigging. Now, why would I want to do this? For one, I live in Colorado, in Salem, Colorado. It's actually a fairly popular sport here, but there's not a lot of rigging shops that I'm aware of. Um, and yes, I could order things online, but what's the fun in that? Number two is price. Um, if I make two shrouds or stays, I will recoup the cost of my tools and materials. Um, but the biggest thing, number three, is because I want to. I was curious if I could do it and do it safely. So um, I made this with a hand hydraulic crimping tool and I am going to test it against a 1 8 inch quick link. This is 5 30 seconds cable. It should have a breaking strength of about 3,300 pounds. The quick link has a breaking strength of 2,500 pounds. And we'll see if it worked. I start by using my hydraulic hand crimper to crimp a stainless steel oval sleeve and make a loop in one end and you will see me use my calipers to measure uh, the post crimp diameter and I'm actually off by one hundredth of an inch as we'll see later it did not affect the strength Adding a second crimp to the eye. Crimping on the eye swage terminal. I continued to make crimps until I ran out of space. And again, I was off by about one hundredth of an inch. The finished product. Now for the fun part, breaking stuff. No, you're just moving around under the car. Huh. No visible damage to the rigging. The system broke at the webbing, which honestly surprised me, but it broke at the narrow bend where the webbing went through the quick link, which makes sense. Um, I was just expecting it to break at the nut. Here you can see the elongation of the quick link on the left from the test and what it looked like before on the right. I wasn't satisfied with that test. Um, that webbing has a breaking strength of 4,000 pounds. I wasn't expecting it to be the thing that broke. So I went out and got some 3 16th uh, chain and tried again. All right, now we have three broken quick links with a breaking strength of about 76% of my anticipated strength of my sample rigging. So I would call this a success. Thank you for watching. Um, something I forgot to mention at the beginning is that I sail a uh, 95 McGregor 26S. So not a huge boat by any means, small rig, no huge loads on it. Another reason why I wanted to try this. Um, I would love 
to actually see the breaking strength of this thing. So if you have a dynamometer and want to break something, I'd be happy to send it to you. Just hit me up. Thanks for watching.